Oh, good day everyone again. Um, what is currently going on at the moment? Um, currently, um, we just received a, uh, unpleasant news that uh, there is a train kidnaps in Edo. And we also uh, discovered that over 30 people are still missing because of that uh, uh, kidnap. And we also had that uh, some kids managed to escape, even some females also managed to escape from that train. Um, from train that is coming, f passing through Edo um, region. And we also had that uh, uh, some staff of Nigerian Railway Corporations, I believe to be uh, the victim of the late Saturday kidnap by government uh, in the areas of a Guabe train suburb station in the United States. Um, my questions now I think is that uh, how can they allow a train uh, to go into a region where there is no security, uh, where there is no um, information like uh, st stations of, of security officials inside the train? or technologies that monitor that movement of the train. I think Nigerians should have that. Um, I mean, a train that goes across, um, it, it, it just go across a, a places where uh, predominantly you don't see people living around that areas. And you have to make sure there's enough security, uh, police on ground, security police on ground, even the trains, uh, railway corporation security they are on ground they have to monitor the movement of the train i mean it's part of the maintenance that should be incorporated uh, in all these trains movement i mean how do they allow another kidnap to happen in nigeria's train i mean what did nigeria's government are going to be thinking now because you want to restore people's confidence to for people to be using trains but now uh, people have been kidnapped uh, i just think that this is one of the uh, news that just came out at this moment and uh, we also had that uh, the the liaison officer to that particular uh, local area uh, best will say uh, said that uh, security agency as well as the paramilitary uh, organizations they are coping, uh, they are just coping the forest, maybe go inside the forest in the areas to get more clear. It's you not know, to get more clear, it's to rescue the 30 people that they pre pre presume that has been kidnapped. We are not getting any clue. We want those people to be rescued. I mean, Edo State government needs to do more in terms of this. And um, they need to do more in terms of this. And people in the field all over the places, we they also had that vigilante, security agency, and other people. Everybody is concerned. We have to be careful what we uh, do how, so that we wouldn't jeopardize the process that's currently going on. Yes, everybody has to be alert. Everybody has to be conscious. Everybody has to be concerned. But we don't want the society to be concerned. The, the purpose of the government is to restore trust and confidence and ensure that people should go into the, their normal activities, that those people that have been kidnapped can be secured backly, safely, without paying any single ransoms. And none of them should go or die in the hands of this of these people they call terrorism or kidnappers. And how would they allow people to kidnap a train and without any information that the security agents uh, have access to? And some of them are from Ibado, while others are passengers from other places. As for numbers of, uh, for now, they are looking for at least 30 people. This is one of the uh, information that is just currently coming up at the moment. And um, I don't want to presume anything. I hope that uh, those people that have been kidnapped, they, 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 I will pray that God allow, give the security agents the, the, the resources, the, the technology, the mindset, and to be able to locate where they have these 
period of time so that they are not going to take them more further so that they can find a way to kidnap and rescue them in time and this is what is currently going on is it just to derail um the uh, what's currently going on in edu state or it's just one of the plans that, uh, that the bandits are using uh, as to say look we are still in we are still can still uh, uh derail a train we can still um uh, uh kidnap people i mean we shouldn't be having that kind of things in nigerians uh, they also believe that the train normally runs between uh, 5 p.m. for at least 20 minutes to 5. If you know there's a bandit in the night, why are you running a train in the middle of the night in the when it's going to the evening time? All these trains should stop running uh, before 5 p.m. And they took away the stage the, the station manager, they took away the, the booking clerk, and 29 other passengers were made up of females and females. How would they manage to stop a, a given train? And there is no information that is completely feed straight down into the uh, uh, into the into the securities uh, network that is available for for train to determine when a train has been attacked. So that is what the deputy uh, governor. Uh, he left the place about an hour, as they also say, investigation is still going on. And they also say the Department of the State uh, Security Services, uh, they know that they are also here. Um, I mean, what are they actually doing? The safe security service, what things are they actually doing to put in place that uh, movement of uh, trains are tracked? And if there is an invasion, how will they respond? I mean, the key thing is all about the response time. And if they cannot respond in the time they should, they should have a drone. They should have a drone uh, that can detail these people. They should have the drones that would detect the movement of, of people that are coming to attack the train. And many para, I also said that many paramilitary uh, representatives also are here as well. What are they doing? They have to be proactive, not, 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 not reactive. They have to make sure that this does not happen. Nigerians have gone through uh, 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 being attacked by, tr by, 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 by terrorism. They should have to find a way when they have that issues with the one with Abuja and Kad uh, Kaduna, they should, they should have learned a lot of lesson on how to stop this going forward in future. And now it happens. It shows that there is a lapses in the security systems in some of these uh, network of of transportations, especially train. And they also say that uh, even the Onta Association has been in the forest in the last night uh, doing a bush uh, Kobe. And we hope by the end of the day uh, they were rescued. So we will see how far this, this thing will go. We just pray that they can rescue these people. And they also say the train station is in the forest. So why do you have to have, if you have a train station in the forest, you have to put a kind of security system that monitor the movement of that train. And there is no security according to indications, no police, no vigilantes. But they are at their mercy of God. I mean, the, the even quick question is that anybody that's going to board a train should be able to know that this train is not secured. So they also think that only three of the victims are from a Bodo, and one of them is from, from the World 8. And we have had another who is also married to a Bodo. He bear bear men and based in worry while others from Yopoma, uh, from Irum, uh, Obiana, Obiaja, and some are not even from Edo State. So the kidnaps um, released two children, according to what they said, and they believe that they fed the children will slow down their movement. So they drop them at the abandoned petrol stations. Well, who is monitoring? Is there any CCTV camera across the country? that monitors in the state, in the local government, that monitors people's movement. They call the families of the members and they should also go and pick their children from the place they drop them. And one woman also escaped with her little babies. The woman escaped and found herself in Ipoji. So there's a trace. I mean, when, when do we have all this country that is, things is just happening all over the places? And the government, um, could not be able to detect how these things happen. So it shows that there's still a lapsus in Nigerians' uh, 
um, security and we also had that uh, even the um, the worry stations uh, we know that government hasn't shut down restrictions the station is still, still continuing even because of the attack and uh, and they will not affect uh, this belief that the government say look the Itape and worry and train station will continue um, it's not going to it's not going to hold, uh, uphold or, or or distort or affect the, the, the movement of that train services. Um, I said the operation will continue. And they believe that additional security measure will be deployed. And that's what they said. And even the Minister for Transportation also visited the affected train station in early hours of morning, as we confirm. And uh, the ministers uh, will get the first hand information. Uh, and many passengers were kidnapped and many injured, and according to what they said. And uh, they also believe that the recent attack is coming up after a terrorism attack in Abuja, Kaduna. So, to me, governments are completely failing uh, in terms of protecting uh, life of properties. Uh, because uh, one of the things in a state station is that they must have a sophisticated system that monitor the movement of train. Um, even the, 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 the train stations uh, must play a key part in, in, in making sure that the security of the people that they are conveying from, from A to B uh, are secure. There should be, there should be security CCTV camera in each station. There should be CCTV cameras on the track of each one of these uh, uh, that, that lead the train from the destination that is coming from to the destination that is going. There should be all the infrastructure should be in place because train is one of the national treasury a country can have and it reduces a lot of traffic and it hence it that's that's one of the things that can convince people from 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 their place of of of, of house the place of, of their work where, where they want to work so when the protection is not in there and they, they don't have any protection in place Definitely, that will affect people's confidence and that will also deter people from using the service. So, government needs to continue to come up with a very comprehensive protection plans. Um, any plan that will address security issues, uh, which has to be more comprehensive and should be up to date and should be communicated to all the key stakeholders, especially the, the train organization, the associations, the government. Uh, 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 people that monitors and and, uh, and give laws and facilitate uh, and making sure that this people's making sure that there is law and order are in place so that each one of these um, uh, so that so that the, the, the security of life and properties of people that are using those trains are completely protected so it's a lot of what government needs to do uh, especially when you have been attacked, uh, I just call this uh, a terrorism attack on, on Nigerians, and the government need to find a way. Uh, there should be intelligent on grounds, uh, any intelligent that were able to identify it, any threat that is that is going to happen, maybe before it happens. Uh, so there should be intelligent, and how do you, that means each one of the intelligent has to coordinate each other, the local, the state stations as well as the government, they must have to have effective intelligent communications uh, that, that, that they can able to uh, the monitor movement. A movement, that's a key thing, movement of people uh, that want to invade the train. So government need to do more in terms of these areas. And they have to make sure they analyze any emergency of any terrorism-related threat uh, against the station even against the train. So they have to, uh, government has to come up with a better way of, uh, on, on able to create a kind of set of requirements and priorities. And they have to do a lot of research because it seems they just construct each one of these train, but there's no research on how to actually combat some of this threat. Uh, because the key, as I said, yeah, you have to want to protect every passenger. Even the race staff has to be putting into as a parameter because uh, they, are, they are the key people that drive these trains and um, so they need to be protected 
and you need to assess any and to reduce any risk in the stations also on a board train and uh, you have to all the key securities and the business related issues cooperation with so, uh, solvency authorities um, the only way forward for if any real companies to identify and prepare for emergency threat threat which really happen but they have to be prepared they have to put more finance in security they have to put more finance in human intelligence they have to put more finance in technological uh, detective plans in every area of, of, of this they have to take it as a, as a big big business so this is one of the things Nigeria need to get involved to do to make sure that at least this does not happen because this becoming uh, I think this this issue is now becoming one of the failing issues that the government hasn't actually tackled uh, enough uh, to deal with the threats that currently affect uh, the train. So um, I'm really really sorry for those families in which their their loved ones have been kidnapped in the new year. Um, I hope that the, the security agents uh, managed to identify and. Uh, and, and, and making sure that those, those, those families are returned back safely uh, to their respective homes. Um, so uh, this is what is currently going on in the country. And uh, this is what we don't want to hear in the beginning of the year. The government, new government has a lot of work to do uh, in terms of making sure that um, um, there is enough information to, to, to identify uh, any terrorism related in terms of threat, in terms of invasion, any train, uh, and they should be able to have a kind of comprehensive approach uh, as in place, well communicated so that every departmental sectors or the stakeholders uh, know what to do in, even before a threat arrives. And they should, should also have complete CCTV cameras across, even CCTV cameras in form of drones should be used in some of these forests where this train conveyed to so that any day there's a threat um, the threat is immediately identified and security network or personnel or equipment immediately deployed to that areas before it actually happens i mean these people are individuals they're coming from the bush so who identify them who they are coming from someone should have been able to there should be a security and network to identify there's a threat that needs to want to attack a train so someone is not actually doing their work. So that is one of the things that's currently happened uh, in the country at the moment. I hope the government can find the lasting solutions. And um, so I will bring you any other information as I come across it. So you guys have a great day and stay blessed. All the best. Bye for now.